impression of Vietnam? As, um, first impressions going out through um, Vietnam, it was kind of more of the first impressions of District 2, which is not necessarily all of Vietnam that I know now. So the first impression, it wasn't what I expected. So um, it was one of those things that it was overwhelming at first, but also exciting because, you know, you have some ideas of what it might be, but not necessarily what it actually is. A weird way of recycling. So there's some weird recycling that goes on. Nobody calls it recycling. My mom was a teacher, my grandma was a teacher, my uncle's a teacher, my aunt's a teacher, and I grew up in the teacher world. In fact, I knew that they took work home, they really didn't have a life after school. At first I was like, no, 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 I don't want to be a teacher. No. And my mom did the same thing. Uh, she was a nurse and then became a teacher later on in life. I got a master's in biology, worked in the Department of Health, and then after that, decided to become a teacher. It's different than what you guys have, for, for sure. We, our high school is more based on sports. RKR, we are KR, and they would just be all cheering and stuff, and um, we got spirit. Yes, we do, we got spirit, how about you? So it was very, very active. Well, I met him at a cousin's wedding. Wow. Three, no, 2004, 2004. I met at the wedding and spent literally 24 hours the next day together with my cousin, little cousin. We went to the aquarium and we held hands in the aquarium and never let go and we've been holding hands ever since. Mm -hmm. No fights. Mm -hmm. He said he went back home and quit his job and took him a while to get all of his stuff and move 3,000 miles from Pennsylvania all over to Washington. Say. It's kind of more like a bark. Because a fox is in between, in my eyes, is in between a wolf and a cat. So the fox would be kind of a <laughs> thing. So it would be kind of like a baby roar or a bark kind of half between. I'm not a girly girl. I yeah. don't do my nails. <laughs> it's a girly girl. I'm a tomboy. I'm a science person. So uh, my life, I wouldn't even be able to imagine.